Hi, this is Jody from the Clutter Free Classroom, and this video is going to take a look inside my literacy packet, Teeth. The Teeth packet includes 25 printable pages that were designed to easily be differentiated for teachers within the elementary grades of K to 5. However, I find that within your own classroom, you may want to pick and choose from the different activities to make modifications based on the varying needs of your specific learners. The table of contents outlines everything you're going to find in the kit, gives a description of how I've used it and some directions, and also um, includes the slide numbers to make it easy for you to find exactly what it is that you're looking for. It starts off with a photos and idea page, which shows some completed images of my schema charts and tree maps, and also some ideas for displaying your student writing. The materials to create a schema chart include um, the title, the categories and also some clip art which I just trimmed out and put onto a chart. This is how I typically set mine up. I use post-it notes to list their schema and then add new learning and we'll also move their schema to misconceptions as time goes on. I find this is a great tool um, as a follow-up to reading and also to kick off writing and my students tend to reference them a lot. We use it pretty much weekly with whichever topic it is that we're talking about. I also have included materials to create a tree map. Um, again, this becomes an excellent tool as they're researching and also as um, an organizer for their writing. This just shows how I've set it up, explains um, teeth are, teeth can, teeth have, and they complete those phrases. I also use um, post-it notes on this um, as a whole class activity. The kit also includes an individual tree map for the students to use and they access these as they're learning, as they're reading, as they're researching, they'll fill those in and um, use it to help them when they get to the writing stage. The kit includes four different eight and a half by 11 printables, which you could use either of two ways. Um, one is to print it out and use it as the cover for a class book and have the students each write a page to include, or also I tend to use these, I print them out and I'll put them in the center of my bulletin board in place of cutting out die cut letters or whatnot as a title and display the students work around them. Sometimes I'll display them in that manner and then take them down and bind them into a book afterwards. First one is what does the tooth fairy do with all those teeth which always ends up being a lot of fun. Um, it's a great creative writing project. The truth about the tooth would be used um, more for nonfiction writing based on research that they do about teeth. I have um, a title, I Lost a Tooth, for a great personal narrative um, on their experience with losing a tooth. It could just be based on something that truly happened to them, or you could use it more as a creative writing by having them write a fictitious story about actually losing a, a tooth. And My Smile is just a very open-ended, um, generic type title that you could use. Um, some suggestions would be to have them write about what makes them happy or what makes them smile. You could use it as process writing for how to brush your teeth. Um, just really, the options are endless with how you can use that. So all the children would use a brainstorm page to start off by just recording whichever prompt you give them. Just whatever idea pops into their head, they can write it down there. From there, I have them create a web. This is our traditional web, which I'm sure you're familiar with. I tend to use in my classroom more of a top-down web. I just find it's more um, organized for them. And so the kit includes three different versions of it. On the right, you'll see the simplest form, which is just a very basic paragraph. On the left is very similar. It's just um, includes more details. And then in the middle would be used for multi-paragraph writing. So again, depending on where your specific learners are at, you can pick and choose which would be best for them. I actually use um, a variety of each of these within my third grade classroom. I have some kids who are on each of those different levels, so it's great that they're all similar but yet modified very easily for you. This is the draft page. Again, includes two different versions, um, mainly depending on where you're at with, the, with their writing skills. One includes the traditional headline, midline, baseline. The other is just the straight lines, and these were designed to have some space so that you can edit their work based right on the paper. And here's some final copy pages. Again, the two different types of handwriting um, options are there for you. This is for their published piece. And also other options for publishing their paper would include the paper with the two different versions of the lines with space to illustrate. Or another fun idea is just to take the biggest, cheesiest smile you can get from them, take a photograph of it, and put it right in there. And the tooth shape would be great if you're just doing a class-shaped book. 
Finally, I've included an open-ended phonemic awareness activity where the children are supposed to make a list of words that start with TH and end with TH. I teach third grade and I think anything from second or third grade up, you could probably just have them brainstorm the list on their own or even with a partner. With the younger learners, you may want to create some word cards or picture cards that you could then have them sort and write down. The reason I made this page is so that the students would have something that they could continue to work on. It's open-ended so there is no set. I'm done with it. Um, but this would give them something to do while you're editing with the rest of the class so that you can move them on from their draft to their final product. If you haven't had a chance to stop by the Clutter Free Classroom blog, I'd love for you to visit. The website is cfclassroom.com. This product and all my others can be found on that site. Just go to that website and click on the My Products button. You'll find it over on the right-hand side. You'll find this, um, other writing products, and tons of free printables and resources that I've created. Thanks for stopping by. Take care.